on rolling. All right, looking good. All right, hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. Today we're going to be doing something kind of new. You can see I'm sitting on a mattress, but I'm not going to actually be reviewing it. It's as weird for me as it is for you, but let's keep going. So I've been writing about sleep and mattresses for way too long, and a lot of weird stuff happens in the sleep space. And I want to talk to you about it in a new segment I'm calling Martin's Hot Takes. So when I'm writing and reading about sleep, something that comes up quite a bit is sleep hygiene. This is basically a step to take to get the best sleep possible, the healthiest night's sleep possible. This includes keeping your room cold, dark, and quiet, and avoiding screen time before bed. So no TV, no laptop, and no cell phones. These actually emit a blue light that can actually disturb your sleep and make for a poor night of sleep. But this is where I kind of break with tradition, actually go against what a lot of sleep experts talk about. I may lose my sleep expert membership card. I'm okay with it because horror movies before bed actually help me sleep. You may not know it, but when I'm not writing about sleep and mattresses, I write horror movie screenplays. It's nothing you've seen yet. But when I'm not writing screenplays, I am watching horror movies. I love horror movies. You can see behind me, I got the Keep poster here, got the Boogans poster here, and I find instead of a glass of milk, Leatherface works just as well. I get it, I'm a bit of a nerd, but science backs me up on this issue. It's a lie. <laughs> now, some studies have found that horror movies are actually good for your mental health, and because of that, also your sleep. For instance, one study talks about how when you watch a horror movie, your body goes into fight or flight mode. And when you realize you're in no real danger, dopamine is released, making you very, very relaxed. Some other researchers have even used horror movies as exposure therapy for trauma and those with phobias. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? And lastly, my personal favorite study has found that people who watch horror movies and love horror movies like I do fared better during COVID. Now, all science aside, personally speaking, horror movies are just less scary than the real worlds. With the pandemic still going on, work stress, relationship stress, money stress, and generalized anxiety, which I struggle with on a daily basis. Horror movies at the end of a day really simplify things. To misquote the great Susan Orlean, it whittles it down to a more manageable size. And for me, I'm not put another way, watching Hills Have Eyes at the end of a long day really helps me sleep. Look, I get it, horror movies are not for everyone. And if horror movies really mess you up, they're not gonna help you sleep, they're not gonna be good for your mental health. When I was younger, I saw Halloween, I was eight years old, it terrified me, I was convinced Michael Myers lived in my closet. Needless to say, I was not sleeping. But I grew up and now I love horror movies. And if you're interested, I have three horror movies to help you sleep. So first up, we have the ultimate horror movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974. In my opinion, it's the best horror movie ever made. It's the most terrifying and one of the reasons I moved to Austin, Texas. This movie is 90 minutes of pure, unadulterated terror. It's about Franklin, Sally, and their friends. They go on a day trip and they run across the Hewitt family. Now, one of the main members of the Hewitt family is Leatherface. This movie is so messed up, and if you've had a particularly overwhelming day, this is the movie for you. Leatherface will knock you out. So if we're talking about horror movies, I gotta talk about my main guy, David Cronenberg, and his best movie, Videodrome. This is a great movie about the dangers of media consumption. It's nuts. In this film, reality absolutely melts. It is good old-fashioned existential horror. I recommend this if you had a long day of mindless work, something like Excel spreadsheets. If you're feeling a bit robotic, a good dose of Cronenberg mind-bending terror could be just the thing. Horror movies don't have to be scary. In fact, they can be really funny, if unintentionally. And a funny horror movie could be just the thing after a rotten, depressing day. Now, my favorite funny horror movie is Final Exam from 1981. This is part of the slasher boom of the late 70s and the early 80s. In final exam, a group of students are studying for their final exam, and while they are, they are picked off one by one by the least intimidating movie killer in cinematic history. Look at this guy's bowl cut. But my favorite part is Radish, the movie's resident horror nerd. Have you ever seen a guy more excited to solve math problems? He is the sweetest, he is the funniest, most ridiculous character I have ever seen. He is cinematic comfort food, helps me sleep every time. 
I get it. If you don't like horror movies, this probably isn't going to work for you. You might want to try something traditional like chamomile tea. But for you brave ones out there, give it a shot.